Do you remember a time where you had to share something? Did you know at that moment you were doing math? Yeah, you were doing math, you were doing division, and you were dividing using a strategy called dividing by sharing. Now, there's only one rule for dividing by sharing, and that's everybody has to get the same amount because sharing is caring, and everybody has to get the same amount. Otherwise, it's not caring, and it's not fair. So that, that rule, you need to understand that rule. You have to give everybody the same amount. Now, we have a problem here. We have, we have some jawbreakers. Remember those candy jawbreakers? We got two people who want to share them. How many jawbreakers will each person receive? Now, if you count them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight all together, and we want to split them up. Here's how you do it. You go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and two. You split them up that way. And the answer is everybody gets four. Four for him and four for her. Him. Doesn't matter. Four for each person. How do we write that as a division equation? The rule is the first number that you write has to be how many you had all together. How many jawbreakers did we have all together before we started? We had eight. So we're going to write eight. Now we divided them, so we shared. But we divided them among two people. So we're going to write two. We had two people, two groups. We have group one and the second group over here. And the answer is four because everybody gets four. Now you can check this answer using multiplication. I'm going to show you how to do that just to make sure that the answers, the numbers you got actually work. What you do is you cover up eight divided. You cover those two up. Just cover it up. You can put your hand or just ignore it. And you take the other two numbers and you multiply them. Yeah, I know. I know that says divide, but the way you check division is with its opposite. The opposite of division is multiplication. So you have to use the opposite. You do two times four. And if you forgot how to multiply, go back to my videos on multiplication and review those. You're going to go two times four. And we know that two times four is two groups of four, which is eight. And so what we do now is we look at eight here. The answer is eight for two times four. You look at here, you see that's also an eight. And since they both match, you know that you did it correct. Now let's move over to the next slide. We got, oh, what do we have here? We have eight divided by four. And all I'm doing here is I'm explaining what each number means. We have the first number represents how many things you have all together. And these have to be the things that are shareable. Going to make this here, um, let's make it darker. So these are the shareable things. In my last example, the shareable things were the jawbreakers. Those were the things that we had to share, not the people. We don't share people in this example. We share jawbreakers. In this here, what, what am I going to be sharing? I'm going to be sharing money, okay? Because money is something that we hold and we can, we can split it up and share it and, and uh, be kind to each other. The, the symbol here, this funny looking line uh, with two dots, one above, one below, that means divide, which means share. And the next number is the number of groups that you're going to share among. Okay, now groups are things that hold things. In my last example, the people hold things. They, they hold jawbreakers. In this example, we have money. And what holds money? Well, we have pockets. They hold money. We have wallets. We have piggy banks. So we're going to need four of them. We've got to pick just one. And the answer is how much each of them gets. So let's see how that looks like. Let's say we pick pockets. Now, we have eight. So eight are the things that we're going to be sharing, and that's going to be money. So I have it all set up. I have $8 here. I'm going to be sharing among four groups. And groups are things that hold things we just said. So I'm going to need four of these people's pockets. One, two, three, four. Now, each person is going to get, let's see, one for this person, one for this person, one for this person, one for him we're going to give one to him and we're going to keep going until we run out and we know we did a good job once we run out and everybody gets the same amount they all get two so we take our pencil we write two except we don't want to do it in this color we want to do it in this color we get two and that's our answer let's check this with multiplication we're going to cover this up we're going to go look at these two here we're going to multiply them remember you check division with multiplication you go four times two and we know four groups of two is eight. We uncover this and it says eight. So they match. We did it properly. Now we could have easily done this question instead of pockets. If we delete the pockets, put this pocket back, we could have picked piggy banks. 
put the piggy banks there and did four of those instead. And it still would have given us the same answer because we have four piggy banks, each one gets two. That's how you divide with sharing. Let's look at this example, except now I'm going to ask you, this 10, would it make more sense to say we need 10 basketballs altogether? Because remember, the first number is how many shareable things we have altogether. They have to be shareable. So are we going to need 10 basketballs to share or are we going to need 10 baskets to share? What makes more sense? Do baskets go in the ball or do the balls go into the basket? I think you understand what I'm getting on here. We're going to need 10 basketballs. That makes the most sense. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to need to share, that means share, with five groups. Groups hold things. So I'm going to need five baskets because baskets will hold the balls. Basketball, remember. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Basketball. We're going to put one ball in this basket, one in here. This is one we share. One in here, one in there, one in there, one in this one. And we're going to keep doing that until we run out and it hopefully works out so they all get the same amount. And they do. They all get two. So we're going to take our pencil. We're going to write two in each one. Now, how do we check our answer to make sure that we did it correct? We need to check with multiplication. So we're going to cover this up. We're going to look at the last two and we're going to say five times two. And we know that five groups of two, and this is exactly what we see here, five groups of two. We have five groups, and there's two in each one. It makes 10. And when I uncover this, I see 10. So I did it properly, 10 and 10. So that's how you do this example. Let's move on to the next one. We have 12 divided by 3, and I'm going to ask you now again, what do we need? Do we need 12 boats, or do we need 12 people? What are we going to be sharing in this example because remember the first number has to be the number of shareable things the things that we're going to share and split up so what do we share here do we do we put do we do we split people up do we share them or do we share boats now you might think we got to share boats but actually we got to share people because we need the 12 people i'll show you what that looks like we have 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we'll put him here and we're going to need only 3 boats so we're going to need three boats because that says three. This is why we share people because we're going to take the people and we're going to share them among the boats like that. It wouldn't make sense the other way around. You don't put boats. I mean, you could, but I mean, this is the most reasonable one that you would expect. The re most reasonable situation. So you go one here, one there. You go to one here. They're running out of room. We can make the boats bigger. Here, let's make the boats bigger. Let's go like, yeah, big boats. Make this one larger. Now they fit uh, a little bit more comfortably. So we'll put them like that. We're done sharing all those people. We know how many go in each boat. We got four, four, and four. So it's fair. We're going to write four as our answer. Okay. And then we're going to check it with multiplication and make sure we did it properly. We're going to go three. I'm going to take these two numbers. We're going to times them. Three groups of four. That's 12. Now, if you forgot how to multiply, go back to my multiplication videos and review those. That's very important. 12 and 12 match. We did it correctly. Now, this is a tough one. It says, write the division equation for this illustration. Check your answer using multiplication. Remember, the first number, whenever you multiply, the first number is the amount of shareable things we have. In this example, we had to share people. We had to split people up. We had to share them and put them in cars. So how many did we start out with? Well, we have two here, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten people all together. We're not sharing cars. Don't write, don't be writing me, oh, there's five cars. Mr. Melvin, there's five cars. I'm gonna put five divided by. No. Because we're not sharing cars, we're sharing people. How do I know I'm sharing people? Because I'm gonna take those people and I'm gonna share them. I'm gonna put equal amounts in each car. That's how I know. Now, if I was sharing, um, uh, actually, you know what? Think about it this way. The second number has to be the group holders, the things that hold things. And we know that cars hold things, so that we're going to put that as the second number. We're going to put five cars. Now, 10 divided by 5, my answer is going to be 2 because there's 2 in each one. Okay? So I started with 10 people. I split those people up among five cars. And my answer is going to be 2 because there's 2 here, 2 there, 2 there, 2 there, and 2 there. That's my equation. Now it's your turn. 
Let's go for it. Ready? Question number one. Pause the video. Give me your best answer. Okay, this is what you should have done. We need an equation. So the first number is going to be how many you have all together. How many do we have all together? Are we going to put three here? Or are we going to put count stars and say there's four here, four there, four there, so we have 12 stars? Well, you don't want to put three because the first number is how many shareable things you have. And the things that we shared are the stars. We had 12 stars all together, and we took those stars and we put them on balloons and we equal amounts. So we're not going to put three. We're going to put 12. Okay, we had 12 stars. We're going to share them among three balloons. So you should have put three. And then we get four on each one like that. So 12 all together. We split them up among three balloons, and then we add four on each balloon. That's our equation. Let's look at this next one. I've got four problems. I want you to solve all of them. It'll take you, let's give you about two minutes. You should solve all these in about two to three minutes. Pause the video and go. All right, assuming you did that, what I recommend here is draw 12 things all together. I'm going to make dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're going to share those 12 dots among two groups. So you're going to put one group here and one group there. And then what you could do is you can start crossing them off. You can put one here, one there, one here, one there. And just keep going back and forth until you're done. That's the beginner level. That's what you do when you're first starting out. You go nice and slow. I think I've got five and then one here and one there. Okay, make sure that you can see all your dots and you've got six in each one. So your answer should be six. Check it with multiplication. Ignore the first number. Look at here. Two times six is 12. It works. Now, I'm not going to draw dots for the next three. I'm going to do the fast way. So I'm, I'm going to imagine 18 dots here. I'm going to look at three groups. I'm going to draw those three groups. Remember, groups are things that hold stuff. So I'm going to just keep it simple and draw circles. And now I'm going to put my 18 dots. I'm going to split them up. I'm going to go one here, one there, one there. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and I stop because I have only 18 altogether, and I got 18 now. My answer is, count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 here, 6 there, and 6 there. So 6 is my answer. Check it. 3 times 6 is 18. We did it correct. And this one, 2 times 6, that, may, that does make 12. It does. Now for this one, I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to draw four groups. Because that means four groups. I have eight things all together. I'm going to imagine them here and I'm going to split them up. I'm going to put one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I stop because I need eight all together. My answer should have been two. Check it. You got four times two equals eight. They match. We did well. 20 divided by five. If you did it the same way, you should have gotten four. Okay, I won't draw the picture. It's the same ways how, how I did these uh, other three. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for joining me in this lesson. I hope you understood this method of dividing by sharing. Keep watching the video, guys, until you get really good at it. And I'll see you at the, at the next lesson. Thanks, guys, and goodbye.